Hello everyone, welcome to Silver Hawks. My name is James and today we're doing another well, collection update. So we get to see all the locos which I've got in my collection and also all the layouts I've got and also any other bits and pieces which I happen to have around as well. So uh, yes, where shall we start? Let's start at the top row because that's normally a good place to start. So let's see. Uh, well, I've rearranged all things, so this is now all the non southern items. So I've got my, uh, was it uh, my B, B12 uh, 3, which is over here. Um, Ellen Yards, I've only got three Ellen Yards now. Uh, the J50, that's the D16, if I remember right. I can't quite remember the uh, one for this one. Uh, I've got my castle, uh, not my castle, my hall class, I got rid of my castle. Uh, so I've got my hall, I've got my 5700, and my bulldog, uh, duke dog, sorry. And I've got, uh, that's all my GWR, so I said only three of them. Uh, only three LMS as well, so I've got my Jubilee, my Jinty, and my 2P. Uh, Going to be doing a lot of back and forth between this lot so you can actually see so this is my uh, what is it uh, this is one of my first uh, N-Brass locos uh, it is the uh, uh, Peckett W class I think no E Peckett the uh, E type and then I've got my little X at the back there and I've got my austerity engine uh, well, the uh, 280 uh, yeah, austerity uh, in uh, uh, LMR livery. My class uh, 43 in uh, Intercity Swallow. And one of my cleaning vans, well, that's the powered one, is my uh, unpowered cleaning one. Right, uh, we'll do the one at the back later. I've got rid of my, um, what was it, the. Uh, 483 because uh, it didn't run all that well and I wasn't all that pleased with it. Here's my 73, works quite nicely. Here's the 158 which I still need a DCC. Uh, this is my 47, class 50 and a 319. Down here I've got my Brighton Bell, the 5 Bell which uh, I need to push a bit closer together, there we go. My class 33, uh, that is class not the class A3, that was the blue one. It's the class A4. I got rid of the A3 because uh, I basically got rid of all my uh, BR blue engines because I just wanted to concentrate on the three main time periods which I've got. Uh, I've got my free sub, well, actually, free suburban unit because it wasn't actually called a free sub all that much. Uh, my class 419, which is the uh, motor luggage van, my bullied uh, class 70, which I still need to add all the bits to, but I have got them, I just need to bother with them. Um, my bullied mainline, uh, well, I call it the mainline diesel, it's the uh, prototype bullied diesel, so I can stay there. Uh, my technically enough LMS engine, but this is more used on the southern, so my LMS uh, 2MT, uh, Little Mickey Mouse. Uh, my Monster Diesel, uh, Shantan Engine. And I've got my Class of 8. And I've got uh, one of my two uh, 411s, but this one isn't pretending to be a 410. So that's got a buffet car instead. So that's a Class 410. And below it is the class 411. I've got the class 250, two, uh, otherwise the uh, 3H. And back over here, I've got my 2 bill. Uh, both these two I need to redo. Uh, that one, I do want to make my own 3D prints for that because I think I can get a bit more detail. And uh, some of those, this is an, from, uh, what was it, Shapeways. And you can see the, uh, the print lines aren't the best. Same with this one. This one's a bit better, but uh, this one could do with some work. Uh, There's my Drury uh, 
Mail car. Also safe waste print, but uh, this one looks a uh, that's probably a bit better. I've got my Thomas the Tank characters. I'm trying to get some more. Uh, here's Toby, number seven. I need the DCCM. Got James, the red engine. Thomas the Tank engine, and Percy the small engine. They're used for your RDC seed. I've got them to use my first lot of Union Mills engines. So I've got my class 700, my LS, uh, LSWR 700, the LSWR. Uh, 395 and my two, uh, T9 still do like that. I do like my 440s. Four well, I've got my Farish uh, Southern Railway, uh, I can't remember what it's called now, Merchant Navy. I do need to run it a bit more, which is why I keep forgetting its name. Uh, I've got my Q1, I've got my standard 5MT. Uh, my standard 4MT, 4MT uh, tank engine, and 3MT. And now we got my, hopefully the light does show you everything. There we go, right, I've got my two M7s, I've got my two uh, N classes, that's the one with the sound, do you like that? But I don't, it, I prefer the running of this one than this one. This one has a bit more strength and it's a bit more reliable. This one just feels, it's, even though it's fractionally lighter, it does feel a bit different in my opinion. Got two schools glasses, which I do need to sort out how well they run. They run well under D, uh, DC, but under DCC they're very, very finicky and I'm really not pleased with it. Which is the reason why I don't use them that often. Got my C-class, and I've got my remaining two Terriers. Because I did have another one, but... Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just concentrating on the free time periods now. And I've got my class 71, which again needs finishing. Uh, my class, uh, my Southern Railway Lord Nelson, which I need to redo the tender into something a bit more basic, but it will make it a bit more reliable and refit the uh, uh, motor in it. Uh, down here I've got my G16 which has its own problems but uh, that technically runs but it no yes <laughs> I do need to sort that out uh, this is my E1R it's, uh, I think it has a minor issue or two I can't remember uh, here's my K class that works quite well uh, this is my uh, D1, which does still need the two there, I forgot to buy them. And I think I need to sort out the couplings a little bit, they're a bit, bit iffy. Uh, still one of my first uh, kit builds, my... Ooh, probably can't see well well. My S15. You like that one? Um, here is my Z class. Here's the E1. Does run quite nicely. That's the D3, which... Despite it being on a old M7 sashi, it does run quite well. I'm quite pleased with that one. Is that the D1? Might be the D1. Yes, that's the D1. The other one's down there. Uh, it looks very similar to the uh, uh, O1, which is down uh, not O1, O2, which is down there. Right, this is my C2X with double dome. Ooh, this looks quite nice. Uh, that is my uh, SECRE, which I'm slowly sorting out. I need to get uh, some spare uh, little pins for the wheels and get them sorted out. Technically, it does run, just doesn't run well. <laughs> uh, that's my uh, C3 first. Uh, tender kit build which I've made, well which I've printed. Uh, let's see, down there is my other uh, N-Brass model which is the uh, come on, what is the G6, sorry that, that's it. Uh, that's my E2, uh, the LBSCR E2, so that's what Thomas would look like. 
my B4. Do need to do a bit more painting on the uh, cylinders, but uh, that's because it likes to run round. Right, what we got down here? Uh, I'm gonna have to kneel down carefully. All right, oh, and get rid of the glare. Right, that is my R1, my Southeastern Railway uh, R1. That's A class. And I've got my very first 3D print to stare, which is my P class. Don't get many orders of them anymore. Oh well. And there is my uh, USA class, which really doesn't run well. I need to re really sort that one out. Mainly uh, remote that one actually. Right, these are actually just going to be uh, Dana chassis for things. So I've got. Uh, my a new M7, which I'll be using to repair the uh, O2, which you'll see in a moment. Here's my uh, Southern Railway L1, which I will will redo soon. Uh, this is my Christmas coat uh, train, which I'll be redoing into something else. And this is a GWR uh, 4575 class, which I'll be using for something else. Don't remember what, I remember picking it for something, but uh, I don't want to throw it away in case I do want to use it. Right, and to the last lot of things over here. Right, this is the 302 class. One of my older ones. Uh, this is the O2. Uh, the main, uh, mainland version. So that needs to use uh, that chassis over there at some point. Uh, here's my Q class. My... T3, which I still need to sort the motor on, and this is my uh, new uh, South Eastern Railway uh, South SECR 01. So, yes, that's all my locos. And I'm getting a bit warm because of this uh, light on here. Right, now to show you all of the railway, well, all the uh, layouts. So, you've got bottom port. Uh, that's mostly pretty much all done. I uh, do need to do some wiring and some finishing off, but that's pretty much uh, scenery all done. Over here, we've got Minstow Road. It's, I do need to get a little sign for I'm probably going to put it on top, just to make a bit more difference. And my uh, manual uh, point controls. It's, uh, I do need to tidy up and sort out, because some of them do like slipping off like this one over here. But if you hold it like this, it does work. And this one is about the same, really. <clears throat> so, all these other ones do just about stay on. So, yes, this one's the, the happiest one, which is the first one which I did. <laughs> so, yeah, that one's all right. Right, that's Minstow Road. Right down here, I've got my Thompson Tank layout. Ah! Which is still in the works. Uh, this video is recorded before the uh, previous work on my Thompson Tank layout because I've got the trees here and they'll be added to the video which you probably already have seen. So yes, <laughs> I can go back under there. Uh, there is my folding layout which is going to be a bit difficult to get out. So my battery's fine, my battery is fine. So I'll have a quick deco of that. There it is. I haven't tested it, but I'm assuming it works. Electrically it does seem fine, so... Right. And other than my mini layout, which is upstairs, and doesn't work, because I haven't used it in ages and needs cleaning, that is all my layouts. Right, now on to the rolling stock. Ah, bit of a work. But quickly, here's my mammoid. Do need to, do have some plans for this. I want to replace the, uh, um, at the moment it's fired by little uh, pellets, which I don't quite like, because they don't, or, well, basically they go off after a while. So I'm thinking of replacing it with a uh, butane burner. I think it's butane. Either way, 
it's going to be ga uh, powered by gas and uh, yes that should run much better because I do want to run that some more and I do want to get some more mummoids so anyway on to the uh, what am I doing um, <laughs> on to the freight so got some private owner vans I do want to get some custom ones which uh based on Gosport, so I do want to get round to them. Uh, here's my, uh, what's this? Uh, this is a mixed one, so this is brake vans, and also larger vans, and assorted things as well. Uh, open wagons, which I need to get more of. Uh, here's my vans, which I do need to get more of as well. And the southern railway things, which I definitely do need to get more of. Alright, back over here. Alright, move the clothing out of the way. Socks can move over there. I really should have put them away beforehand. Alright, uh, make sure there's nothing in these. There's nothing in that. Uh, that feels like it's got something in. Alright. BR Crimson Cream, Mark 1s. Uh, all my LMS, so this will be... LMS coaches and also freight. This is putting them all together now. Uh, same with my linear, but as you see, it's just some coaches. Uh, same with GWR, which I've now condensed into just three types. So we've got my B set, my collect coaches, and my Hawksworth coaches. Uh, my Southern Railway stuff, non 3D printed. So I've got uh, the Graham Ferris uh, Suburbans, the early ones, because they do look quite nice, so I may probably get rid of them as well at some point, and get in a, um, what was it, a, uh, some dog out there, um, a olive green uh, birdcage set, so these are my uh, normal, uh, those are the low windows, these are the high windows, uh, monsoons, and I think that's about it for that. BR Green Mark 1s, which I've got quite a bit, a few of. Uh, this is Mournsall and Bird Cages in BR Times. And I've got two sets of uh, Bird Cages now. I did have to mark uh, the ones that I have changed the uh, bogeys off slightly. So I've got loads of them. Here's all my bullies in both Crimson Cream and also Green. Uh, here is my intercity stuff, which I do want to get more of. Uh, this used to be for the blue and grey, but I haven't got anything in there anymore, so I'll probably move that up. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to get out the fold out. There we go, just so I don't have to go up there with you. Uh, just, <laughs> just need to get the screen out. So this is my. Uh, parcel vans, which I again need to get more of, especially more variety of colours. Uh, these are my Pullman and also my Intercity uh, coaches. Here's all my Thomas the Tank stuff, including the ones which I've made. So there's loads of characters in there. Found out they are making Henrietta now for Toby, but I don't know when that's arriving. And here is my 3D printed stuff. Ooh, which is now losing focus. So at the back there, I've got my uh, what was it? Uh, my uh, LSWR uh, cross country and also push pull set. Uh, that's the bird cage set, which is from Recreation 21, and those are my uh, 48 foot coaches. So that's about it, really. And the top one's empty. So yes, that is pretty much it. And also there's the uh, steam engine in the background. Well, uh, actually, last few things. Uh, I've also got this uh, 6400, which I'm going to be reviewing soon and also turning into something else. And I've uh, got a few more coaches from my old printer, which are still up for sale, so they can be bought. Uh, there's me designing something. And lastly, I'll show you uh, my 3D printer. Some might as well. 
Okay, Ooh, it's a bit dark. Right, let me just close this. Right, and lastly, here is my 3D printer, my new one. Uh, the old one is over here, which I need to get rid of. Um, <laughs> so here is the new printer for Gospel Works, which is the uh, LU, however you pronounce it, Mars 4 Max. So, yes, uh, that has also got a bit of resin in. Uh, here's the uh, washer, and there's the uh, cure. So, first thing is, print it, give it a wash in here, just to get the uh, initial lot of resin off, take it to the sink, wash it there, after that, stuff it in there for t uh, 20 minutes, spinning it all around, so the light gets everywhere. But considering that there is three sources of light, it does, even if I don't do that, it would still cure fairly well. Ooh. Stay. And this cover just makes sure that no light gets in there, so, uh, yeah, everything cures properly. And yeah, this one I need to finish cleaning up and sell. And that's all the mess which I get from 3D printing. So, yes, that is absolutely everything. <sighs> I'm getting to turn all the light off. Uh, and these up again. And go back into my bedroom. <laughs> And yeah, probably not seen before. That's where I got my uh, bedroom door. <laughs> South for winter with sunshine, and obviously all my pictures and all the other things, and soundproofing, which didn't actually work. Um, <laughs> that is absolutely everything. Apart from going outside and having a look at the steam engine, which doesn't work. So uh, that's my uh, L LSWR D15, which I'm slowly working on. Yes, that is everything. So yeah, that is my collection update. Hopefully by next year I'll have even more things to stuff everywhere and then work out where I'm putting things. Because I'm going to be running out of space in that display shelf. So I may start putting more 3D things into the drawers uh, once I clear out some more space over here. So yes, that's pretty much it really. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, random tour and random video which I do, do every year. And if you do like it, well, that's going to be me for the rest because I'm getting warm from this light which is on my camera. Um, <laughs> so yes, hope you enjoyed the video. If you do like it, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And if you didn't like it, well, I hope you enjoyed it anyway, and I hope you all had a lovely New Year's as well. So, uh, yes. <laughs> but uh, if you want to see uh, any particular engines again, do let me know. And I'll probably put them around on a running system, because I do want to get uh, both, well, all three of these uh, other smaller layouts and the running sessions as well. So, we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, I also added this to my layout, so... I uh, can't remember who suggested that, but that was on the Engage forums, and that does actually help. Um, <laughs> so, yes. Anyway, that's it. Uh, that's going to be it for me, because, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm knackered now from walking around. Anyway, take care now. See you all again next time. Bye-bye.